On the first episode of our digital innovation video series, you were able to have an overview on the main tech trends that are going to impact your business over the next years. You are now aware of the importance of digital innovation, of the main intelligent technologies, and you are already familiarized with the bimodality approach. My name is Victor Piccoli, I'm from Lifetime Customer Experience, and as SAP Enterprise Support helps to adopt innovations and master the digital economy, we are now continuing our series to guarantee that you understand how digital innovation works at SAP. So, in this episode, we will go through two main topics. Topic one is the intelligent enterprise, which is the result of the digital transformation of our business. And topic two is SAP Leonardo, SAP's digital innovation system. We will also have an expert joining us to explain topic two. So let's start with topic one. In the last few decades, the world has gone through drastic changes. From the 60s to the 80s, we had industrial automation. From 90s to 2000s, we had the automation of business process. In the beginning of this century, the concept of digital transformation has gained relevance. And nowadays, the entire world is enjoying the benefits from intelligent technologies, such as machine learning, artificial intelligence, blockchain, IoT, and all others that we covered in the first episode. In fact, if you still haven't watched the first episode of our series, please make sure you do. The intelligent enterprise is about delivering new capabilities that enable the workforce to focus on higher value outcomes. It's the next phase after digital transformation. With intelligent tax, companies can automate repetitive tasks and focus on higher value delivery. There are three components of the intelligent enterprise. The first is the intelligent technologies, where SAP Leonardo comes to play. The second is the intelligent suite, which enables business to automate their process and enhance interactions through applications with intelligence embedded into them. The third is the digital platform, represented by SAP Cloud Platform and HANA Data Management Suite that together facilitate the collection, connection and orchestration of data, as well as the extension and integration of process within the intelligent suite. The intelligent enterprise is a virtual cycle, where the business actions executed by the intelligent suite generate data to build intelligence that's used in the business process. The data from this business process is then combined with external data sources in the digital platform, where intelligent technologies can be applied to generate even better insights. These insights can then be embedded back into the intelligent suite for better decision support and automation. To make it simple, the intelligent technologies are embedded in the intelligent suite. And therefore, we can say that the intelligent enterprise is an intelligent suite on SAP Cloud Platform powered by SAP Leonardo. Now, if you remember the last episode, you know what's the bimodal IT approach. So the intelligent suite maximizes the operational efficiency and represents mode one. At SAP, it is represented by S4HANA, with which you can connect your own company and after, extend, adapt, and integrate the core with SAP Leonardo. SAP Leonardo is inserted in mode two and it's based on SAP Cloud Platform. Moving to topic two, to explain your SAP Leonardo in details, we invited Ricardo Rosa, Head of Innovation Service Latin America here at SAP. Hello, my name is Ricardo Rosa and I'm leading the SAP Innovation Practice in Latin America, supporting customers with SAP Leonardo. You already know about bimodal IT, so let's talk a bit about the mode two where SAP Leonardo is inserted. If you check this uh, slide, you're going to see that SAP Leonardo are inserted in the mode 2, where you see very important components like Internet of Things, Machine Learning, Big Data, Analytics, and Blockchain. In this slide, you also find in mode 1 the SAP components like S4HANA Hybrid Solution, Success Factors, Concur, Fieldglass, and Ariba. So one very important information in this slide is the integration between these two universes, where you see that SAP is, has a great powerful to support you and improve your mode one by the components of mode two. The SAP Leonardo are offering three pillars. The first pillar is the Leonardo Embedded Solutions in the SAP Core Applications. So you're gonna find the S4HANA, SuccessFactor, Fieldglass, Hybris, Ariba, and Concord. Solutions are taking advantage of the mode two components. The second pillar are our industrial accelerators. That is the easier and faster way to get an innovation adoption. For instance, 
You can predict your maintenance by PDMS, that is a SAP product, or you can even control your fleet by IoT using the Vehicle Insight solution. Moving on to the third pillar, we have the Open Innovation Service. The Open Innovation Service are on a methodology based in design thinking and user experience that's going to help you to explore the opportunities of innovation that you have in your company and help you to create a minimum viable product and in the future scale and transform the solution. The SAP methodology to help you to move on with innovation are based in five steps. The first step is the Explore Workshop. In the Explore Workshop, using the design thinking methodology, SAP team will help you to find the areas of opportunities where you can discover and design a new solution based on innovation. That is exactly the second step, where we are calling reimagining. In the reimagining, based on user experience methodology, we are going to redesign the solution using and taking advantage of the Leonardo components. It's your decision to move in the create phase. The create phase will gonna help you this development a minimal viable product where you can even test in, the, in a productive environment the solution designed in the previous step. So with this MVP, we will move to the next phase where you're gonna validate the solution and move to the last phase that is the scale and transform. Now you have a good understanding of some key concepts that your company needs in order to become an intelligent enterprise. On the next episode, we will show you how SAP Enterprise Support Services Portfolio can support you to thrive in the digital economy. Please share this video with your colleagues and stay tuned so that you can take the most out of your investment at SAP.